you know what unfortunately i am absolutely on board with linus when he goes into explaining how amd is absolutely misleading people with the way that they are labeling their cpus so i do want to share some of the things that he ended up talking about because i found it extremely interesting and i think you're going to find it very interesting as well all the other stuff that we're going to be talking about today on screen for those of you that uh may have not looked at the screen so this right here the names are stupid awesome chapter i love linus and his team they're literally my favorite tech channel this guy right here i love his whatever the uh tech link or tech whatever <laughs> he's just as, he's super funny but anyways the names are misleading and linus goes into explaining how the like seven right here no longer means a certain thing and then the nine no longer means uh the best or higher end cpu and then the 50 version is extremely misleading and then we have the u and we have the x and then we have the year we have the segment we have the architecture the differentiate and you can see that like what he is explaining is like the 7950x 3D as an example. You would think that would be the best CPU out there, but it's not. The 7800x 3D is. Let's release our Ryzen 9 9950x, the flagship CPU. But what we're not going to tell everybody is that the 9800x is superior to the version that is twice the amount of money i did i just thought that this was a very interesting video obviously it's 12 minutes long and i'm not gonna like steal linus's video he's a i like him he's literally my favorite tech influencer but anyways the amd ryzen 9 9950x flagship zen 5 16 core cpu tested from 40 watts up to 230 watts and it matches the core i9 14900ks at 160 watts in cinebench okay so if we come down please tell me you have a chart okay we do all right so we have right, we got to zoom out uh holy moly that's a big chart there fellas all right well we don't need the whole chart anyways you know whoa that's too much all right so we got the 9950x at 230 the 200 and we got the 14900ks and you got to keep in mind dude this is look you know what, dude? I'm going to say it right now because it pisses me off that I even have to do this. I'm not I'm not taking a dump on AMD. I'm just being honest, okay? Like, I love AMD. I love what they're offering. I like what their intentions are. And I understand their goal is to benefit, like, people that don't want to pay a premium for Intel and NVIDIA. I like what AMD is trying to do here. But being dishonest and lying and overhyping things... All that does is it misleads people that, like Linus is saying, don't understand how all of this stuff is being labeled. They don't understand. Okay, so you get my point. I'm not trying to take a dump on AMD. And it, it's really annoying that I have to explain this every single time I go to say something, even the slightest amount negative about AMD. Because if I say anything negative about NVIDIA, or I say anything negative about Intel, it's perfectly fine. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. The 14900KS being... 5,000 points less than the most maxed out 9950X. Look, Intel is going to come back with what, to be honest, I don't know what Intel is labeling their next CPUs. I don't know if it's going to be the 15900K. I don't know if it's going to be the whatever. So you get my point. Like all these, which is why Linus made the video that he did. All these companies are relabeling and miss whatever. They're all, they're mixing everything up. So he also went on to say this about like NVIDIA, like releasing the, the RTX 3050, like the eight gigabyte version. I forget where it is. In the, so Apple does a pretty good job. Like if all companies did this, it would just be like a, a no brainer. Like, oh, hey, that's actually not that bad of a whatever. I don't know where his NVIDIA thing. Oh, so right here. Okay. Hold up. All right, well, I'm not going to, whatever. You guys get my point here. So this is pretty much everything. You can see the wattage and all of that kind of stuff. You, I'm guessing you didn't really need me to read all this crap 
right? So we got the AMD Ryzen 5 9600X price was accidentally leaked on Amazon. The AMD desktop processor, where's the price? So 475 bucks in Canadian dollars. So, so this right here, AMD Radeon software, Adrenaline 24.7.1 driver, just an update for the graphics cards. Um, let you guys go ahead and see here if you if you have any issues with anything and whether or not this would end up fixing it Nvidia just barely had a massive update as well uh, to fix their broken Drivers for Adobe and stuff. That's the first time I've ever noticed a uh, Broken driver with with Nvidia. So this right here Intel Arc 140 V Lunar Lake XE2 graphics name confirmed and a leak XE2 Woo! Nice. I actually kind of think that's kind of cool sounding uh, so we got the Intel Arc 140 volts. We got the Arc 130 volts. Uh, we come down here. The charts, Geekbench. So we have the Arc A140V, the Arc A370M, and then the UHD 770. So you got the Core Ultra 9, 7, 5, and all this stuff. I'll let you guys go ahead and pause the video. I'm just being honest. I don't know what any of this stuff means. I'm just sharing it. The simulation part of this gave me a cool topic to talk about with you guys and that's why i want to talk about it man i just said talk about it so many times so nvidia and super micro parts the simulation efficiency dude can you imagine what like like what like vr is going to be like in probably five years because in five years from now we're gonna we're gonna be like at at, at least if they keep the same naming thing um uh we're gonna be at like rtx like 70 90 and we're gonna have all like you gotta remember like ai is like the average like 10 year time span that we're like seeing growth in this kind of stuff is gonna be like a bajillion years so we're gonna go from like playing vr in potato quality which is basically what vr is now sorry i'm just being honest dude I, dude, I've played VR before. It looks cool. It's fun. It's awesome. I really do like it, but I'm just being real. How many VR games have you played that actually look real? Like, like seriously, like if we even like throw some of the more realistic ones, like Horizon Zero Dawn, um, some of the like racing games like Forza and uh, uh, Assetto Corsair. To be fair, Assetto Corsair with a ton of mods looks real. Back to my exploding kittens show. Dude, this, have you seen it? It's funny. It's so funny. Um, I'm probably going to get copyrighted. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that. I forgot to turn it off. I pause it. <laughs> it's about this. Uh, I want to actually. I don't know if I would. If that would do good. I should like start talking about shows I'm watching. Because I really liked Three Body Problems. I just finished uh, the Lost in Space series. I watched Atlas. The, the movie Atlas with Jennifer Lopez the other night i watched so i didn't even know it was out but penguinzo made a video on the boys it's season four i think it's called uh it's kind of for those of you that don't have or have never seen it and maybe have netflix it's kind of like uh the umbrella academy but way more intense like the umbrella look i'm just being honest i couldn't really get into the umbrella academy i tried watching the first two seasons and i just ignored the third one i was just like this doesn't make because I've learned my lesson with Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead that if you don't watch the first, like, I want to say probably like five episodes, um, you're not going to enjoy the series. Because, like, I tried watching, the like, the first couple of episodes of The Walking Dead probably, like, five or six times before I was actually like, oh, okay, this is a sick show. And I'm so happy I did. It's still one of my favorite shows ever. The 100 is, like, my... Yeah, the second. I was I had to really think about that for a moment. Have you, any of you seen that's a really cool show? I really wish they would come out with a new season. Uh, but anyways, it's about a freaking it's about God and he like is like he's being lazy. So his team like sends him down to be 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 on the planet and he, they turn him into a cat. And uh it's funny. It sounds stupid the way I'm explaining it, but it's actually a really funny show. You should watch it. But I'm going to end the video. I'm getting way off topic here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.